Chapter 12 The final week of school was a lot of fun. Between the relaxed classes, the fact that I got to spend all of lunch and club time with Natsuki, and being able to come home with her, I was, to put it simply, on cloud nine. I was head over heels for Natsuki at this point. Over the week, Yuri had made more and more attempts at speaking to me during club activities. I don't like it, Natsuki said, crossing her arms. Look, I'm sure she's just trying to get to know me better. I mean, I'm a new peer to her, and I don't know. The other club members have been making a bit of an effort to meet us too, right? I replied. I was trying my best to reassure Natsuki. It was true that the other club members had been spending plenty of time with Natsuki and I, as I was a new member and Natsuki was always by my side, but they would often leave us be most of the time, and they could tell that Natsuki and I were rather close and wanted some time for ourselves. Everyone but Yuri, that is. Yuri seemed to always want to find some way to get me alone, or she'd have one reason or another to stop me and ask me something in particular. She'd ask for some paper for writing, or an eraser, or a pen to use, because hers broke, according to her. I boiled it down to the bad blood between her and Natsuki as the reason that she would only ask me. She seems innocent enough. Every time we talked, she would always smile, and the way she spoke, stumbling over her words. I figured she must have been at least a semi-introverted person. Maybe she was just trying to come out of her shell. Okay, everyone. Club dismissed, said Monica. I left the class with Natsuki. Aren't you excited? I asked. Excited for what? asked Natsuki, tilting her head slightly. Tomorrow's the last day of school before winter break, I replied. A whole vacation to just the two of us? she cheered. Yep, just you and me, I said. The next day of class, I sat waiting for the class bell to ring for us to be excused to lunch. The class was empty, save myself and the teacher. All the other students had either taken the day off or left the class after checking in to go see people in other classes. Can I leave you here to watch the classroom? asked my teacher. Sure, I replied. Great. I'll probably be back a little bit before lunch starts. And with that, he walked out the classroom. I sat down in my desk before looking down at my phone. There were still at least 30 minutes before the bell rang. The door opened and I looked up expecting to see my teacher. Perhaps he'd forgotten something. Instead, however, I was met with Yuri's face peeking around the corner. Yuri? Hi, she said smiling. She slipped in looking out the door first before closing it and locking it. Will he be back soon? Not till lunch. What are you doing? I asked, getting up from my seat. I wanted to talk to you. Alone, she replied. Just you and me. Yuri looked down, and I saw that she was holding a small pocket knife, resting her finger on the blade. All right, what the hell are you doing with that? I asked, backing up. No, no, it, it's okay. I won't hurt you. I could... I could never hurt you. I... I just... I wanted to show you my knives, she said with a smile. She set the knife down on the table next to me before walking up to my desk. I didn't move anything other than my head, which I used to track her every move. Yuri... You seem a bit on edge. Maybe you should sit down, she said, placing her hands on my shoulders and sitting me in my desk. I have... I have just the thing to calm you down. She pulled up her bag and unzipped it rather quick, making me get ready to react to anything. An electric kettle came up from her bag, which she set before us. She got up to plug it in and then poured a large bottle of water into it, smiling as she did so. Then she set it next to her knife. Yuri sat down on my desk and simply looked at me. What are you doing here? I asked. I wanted to thank you. She said, Thank me? Thank me for what? Did I... I don't... I wasn't even sure what to say. For this. She pulled the pen from her bust and presented it to me. I looked from the pen back up to her. Close to the heart, she giggled. 
Yuri cradled it, kissing the plunger on the top before turning around quickly. The tea! Yuri poured out two cups before setting bags in each. Thanks, I said as she handed me the teacup. You have to let it steep first, she replied. Look, okay, I get why you came here, but... Well, no, I don't get why... Why did you come here? Okay, sure, you wanted to thank me, but... I mean, couldn't this wait till the literature club? How do you even know what class I have? Yuri grabbed a strand of hair before she explained. Well, you see, I've been... I've been watching you. I, I followed you home and... Well, I saw that I couldn't see you there because Natsuki lives with you. And I, I couldn't give you this in the club. A large grin spread across Yuri's face as she giggled a bit more before taking a sip of tea. Give me what, Yuri? Me. Yuri set down her tea, chuckling now as she pulled her blazer off. Yuri? She pulled off her sweater. My body, Yuri laughed. Yuri, stop this, I said as I started to get up. Yuri was now undoing her buttons. I want you, she said, still laughing. She removed her shirt so she wore nothing more now than her bra and skirt. I got up and walked over to Yuri. I need you. Enough of this, Yuri. Stop it. Her laughing became more and more uncontrolled, and she couldn't undo her bra. Uh, I can just, I can just leave that for you to do, right? She laughed as she slid down her skirt. Damn it, Yuri, you need to stop, I growled. Why do you love her? Not me? You don't love me? I'm more mature than her. My body, my taste, my looks. What are you, some kind of pervert with a fetish? Yuri growled. Her eyes were quite wide as she smiled, but I could tell she wasn't happy. Yuri, look, you need to calm down, I said as I moved in closer. I looked her over, trying to avert my eyes from her rather large bust. I scanned her arms and I saw that she had many scars on them. But her scars, they didn't just cover her arms. Her thighs, too. Her stomach. Why don't you love me? I see you. I see you staring at my body. I, even if you were a pervert, I, I wouldn't mind. Just so long as you're mine, right? My pervert eyes for me only. <laughs> she begged. She was shaking now. Yuri, please. Just calm down. I begged. Yuri collapsed and sobbed a bit as she sat on her knees. I walked up to Yuri and crouched beside her. She stopped crying and then laughed. If you don't love me, I'll make you love me. Yuri quickly grabbed the knife and pointed it at me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you gonna do, huh? You gonna hurt me? Do you really think that's going to solve this? I asked as I placed my hands up and began to back off. No! She cried. I could never hurt you. Not you. But me? Yuri pointed the knife at herself, laughing again. Is it the scars? I, I got these because I couldn't help myself. I'm weak. Like now. I can't bear the weight of not being able to have you all to myself. Yuri, stop this. I I'm begging you, I pleaded. Put it down, put it down, and then what? Live without you forever, knowing that you're fucking that pink-haired little... Yuri stopped herself as if something in her mind just didn't want her to go on. She raised the knife, preparing to stab it into her wrist, but I charged at her, knocking her over. I'm not going to let you do this, Yuri. I grabbed her wrist in one hand and used the other to hold her other arm down. Yuri struggled a bit before saying, Why, Natsuki? 
Is it because I hurt you? I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me, please. I, I didn't mean those words. Then you bring him into my life just to taunt me. To show me how unhappy you were with me. A mixture of crying and screaming came from Yuri, and the fact that nobody came to investigate made me wonder if there was anyone here at all to hear us. I thought of something to say to calm her down. Yuri, I said into her ear, when I met Natsuki, she told me that other than me, she had only one friend. Do you know who she named? Yuri didn't say anything, but she stopped struggling altogether and became, aside from her panic breaths and sobs that forced their way out of her. It was you, Yuri. She blamed herself for the two of you splitting apart. No, no, it, it's not, it's not your fault, Natsuki. This doesn't have to be the end, I whispered. Please, just calm down. We'll work this out, okay? I felt Yuri's wrist relax and she let the knife go. Her whole body became more relaxed. I got up a bit, taking the knife from her and shoving it into my pocket. I looked down at her. She was crying and her undergarments were pulled from her body enough to reveal her breast and the hair below her waist. Her face was at peace as she panted, holding both of her arms above her head. I heard the key to the door turn, and I looked up to see Natsuki to my utter horror. Seeing anyone at a moment like this, and vice versa, was the last thing I wanted. Hey, your teacher came by my room. He told me to go ahead and tell you to leave. He's going to go out to lunch and... Natsuki froze as she looked down at me. Natsuki, wait. It's not what it looks like. Tears welled up at Natsuki's eyes as she looked in horror at the both of us lying on the floor. Yuri was practically naked and, well, I was there straddling her body. Natsuki covered her eyes and ran away, dropping the keys of the door and letting it close. I could hear the new boots I'd gotten her only days prior clicking on their way down the hallway as she left. I'm sorry, Natsuki, muttered Yuri as she drifted off into sleep.